Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm having an awesome one. It's absolutely gorgeous here where I'm at in Arkansas. It's like in the 70s. Can you believe that? After, what, two weeks ago of having all that snow and the super cold air? Yeah, I love this weather right here. Anyway, I want to get up here and, and want to say welcome to everybody. And I'll tell you real quick, if you're new, what this is about. It's uh, my Throwback Thursdays that I do. I pick out patterns from like the 1950s all the way up to like the 1990s and the late 90s and uh, try to attempt to make one <laughs> and I've done a few so far and so but anyway the ones that I picked out this last time one of them I lost big time interest in it so I ended up turning it into something else and so let me show you what it was supposed to have been now it is out of a magazine that I picked up at a flea market and it's called crochet world and it's a December of 1994 issue and this one's got a lot of cute patterns in it. And so, this last year I did Vlogmas, and I kind of was interested in making a bunch of, uh, well, I say a bunch. I probably won't make a bunch. <laughs> but I was wanting to make some tops that was Christmassy like. So, I chose to do this one, and I wanted to do it in red and white. And I started off strong, you know, all excited about it, but I lost interest in it. And when I lose interest, I'm done. I don't want to keep pushing it, so... Instead of frogging it, I decided to turn it into a pillow. Now, last Vlogmas, I had already done a pillow. And the reason why I was wanting to make, you know, Christmas tops is because I'm hoping I get to do it this uh, December again. Because that was a lot of fun. But anyway, last Vlogmas, I made a pillow. And it was by, uh, it was a designer who had a bunch of granny square that she was offering for free if you uh, signed up for her uh, email. And so I signed up and I got them for free. I think you have to pay for them now. And so I took those and I turned them into a pillow. And I'll put a picture of what it looks like right here. And so I wanted to make something to kind of go with it. And, and so instead of frogging this, I turned it into a pillow. So here it is. <laughs> I think it turned out cute. I mean, I want, I wished I'd have done a little bit more green because I, I wanted the green to come out a little bit more out of the other pillow because it's got a lot of green in it. But I think it's okay because it's got a little bit around the edge. And I just went around the outside of it with uh, red and white and uh, double stranded and did double crochet all the way around just so it looked like a peppermint, you know, a candy cane. And all of this is just mainstay yarn. It's red, white, and then the green. And I already had like a little pillow and I just stuffed it down in there and it happened to be the right size. <laughs> oh, how convenient. Because <laughs> I hadn't been in the mood to sew. But anyway, that's how it turned out. I think it turned out cute, even though it's not a sweater. I guess it was a better to save than to strike out. <laughs> so anyway, that's how it turned out. Okay, now my other one, I almost lost in, I almost lost interest in it too. And I don't know if it's because I've never done an amigurumi with doing it in just the panels like that. But after I started working on the second one, it was like, oh, okay, I'm losing interest in this one too. But I kept on and I stuck with it and so I got it done and it's in this magazine here it's called crochet the Annie's crochet newsletter and it's dated in April of 1992 and this one's got a lot of cute ones in it too but I came across this one and it's called the Tweed Bunny and it's by Michelle Wilcox and I'm pretty sure she's got a bunch of them up on Yarnspirations website but this one is called the nursery time and I thought it was cute. And it is. It's cute. So I wanted to try to attempt it. And like I said, I had the front panel done. And then I started working on the second one. And I almost lost steam, but I got it done. But I didn't do it exactly like how she's got hers. Because she's got the, the lace and the little heart. And she's got bows. Well, this is whimsical-like. And I kind of wanted to go with a, I guess you could say a farmhouse style. Because I love farmhouse. That's how I got uh, the biggest part of my house decorated is farmhouse and so here he is <laughs> like I said I left off the ribbon up here in the lace and I did his nose in pink instead of black and I think he turned out cute and I did the, my pillow in a five millimeter hook and this was in a five millimeter hook so I finally did an Amy in a five millimeter hook I mean I've done my Perzalot cat in a five millimeter it might have been bigger but it was with two strands but this yarn was bulky so it worked out good <laughs> And he's got him a little tail. And so I think it turned out cute. 
I'm happy with him. And I'll put a picture right here where I'll have him sitting. I've got a ladder behind on the, up against the squall where I'll have him sitting on it next to a uh, pillow. It's a chicken pillow <laughs> that I made. I think it was like two years ago and I sewed it together and it turned out really cute because I like chickens and I thought it'd look cute with it. So anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll put a picture where you can see it. So those are my throwbacks that I've done. Now the one that I'm going to be doing now is going to be a quick one and it's going to be a fun one and it's easy I think. <laughs> I wanted something, you know, something fun to do. And so I found one online and it is by Jada and Stitches. And I think it's going to be really cute. Let me see if I can find it. I started on it earlier this morning and it is called, uh, let me see if I can get it right, the Vintage Dish Towel Soap Cover or something like that. I'll put a link where, I'll put it down below in the description box, the name of the pattern. But anyway, it's where you, if you remember back in the day, they would make these little uh, dresses and stuff and put it on top of the dishwashing liquid to, you know, to help the dishwashing liquid not to be so, I guess you'd say, uh, not very pretty. <laughs> and so she came out with a pattern. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. And I happened to be scouring through the internet and I ran across it. And that was the one that popped up. And so I thought that would be a fun, cute one to do for my throwback Thursday. And I also thought if if you any of you guys would be interested in doing one with me, I guess you could say be kind of like a little crochet lawn. You're more than welcome to do one. And and if you would like for me to uh, feature your your finished product up here on my video, all you got to do is just email me a picture of it and just give me permission to use it. And if you want me to put your name, I can. If you don't want me to, that's fine too. Just let me know and and or you can join my Facebook group if you'd like and uh, let me know over there or you can message me on Instagram if you'd like to make one along with me so I'll show you what I got started so far and it is super cute and I will put a picture of what hers looks like and it's it is uh, she has a tutorial on it but she has a pattern for it it's a paid for pattern over in Etsy where you can go check it out but anyway this is what I got so far <laughs> and what you do I got it down here is you're gonna put it over the top of this <laughs> now this is just the start of it and of course there'll be a little dress that comes out and it's got the little ruffles and it is super cute now there are several more up there I've seen online I think uh, Sarah Sash has got one now hers you can turn it in I've seen hers where it was like Christmas I do believe where she had like a snowman but you can also make one like you know a pumpkin on it or you know any you know a bunny you could add a bunny onto it because with mine I'm going to turn mine into I'm going to do it with the red and this is uh, cotton I'm using cotton on mine and it is the uh, sugars and cream from Walmart and I'm doing white because I'm going to do mine like strawberry <laughs> I'm going to actually applique a strawberry on the bottom of it because I've got my kitchen done in strawberries so I thought that would be super cute and I think like, like I said, Sarah's got one in different, in the holiday, well, Christmas ones. And, and then the Crystal from Bag O' Days, she's got one that looks like a dress. It's cute, too. So there's all different kinds. So like I said, if, if you would, you know, want to make one along with me, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Just join in. And, and like I said, if you want me to feature what yours looks like up here on my, uh, on the video whenever I show it, just email me a picture of it and... Just give me permission to do it. If you want your name, like I said, added, I'll add it. If you don't, I won't. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I thought it'd be fun. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'll do it for, like, probably for a month, I think. Man, do a video, like, every two weeks, you know, because it's, you know, it's getting that time of year where I like to be outside a lot. And so I think I'm going to do my throwback videos, like, every two weeks. That way I, I can have enough time to, you know, make things and then do it like that. But I think I'll uh, do this one for, like, a month. Because there's different ones I'd like to try. <laughs> and, you know, different little themes, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But anyway, I'll put a link down below where you guys can go check it out. And one to her pattern if you'd like to. If you'd rather have the pattern instead if you don't want to watch the uh, tutorial. Sometimes I really like watching the tutorial because I like to listen as I go along. And I like to do that. <laughs> But anyway, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and go work in my yard. I may just get out there and start raking some more leaves. I, I've got tons of them, and I need to take the blower after them, too. And it's good exercise is what I say. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed day, and I will be chatting at you guys real soon.